a girl comes up to me and is like, oh my God, I just have to introduce myself. Like, I, I just need to say this. I'm Suit Man's ex-girlfriend. Do you feel the Do you call him daddy? Do I call him her daddy? Call her daddy. Hi guys, I'm at the airport. I'll see you guys on the flight. You guys, I'm bitch. We believe. Loss, the the loss of the 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 angels. The city of sin. Nope, that's Vegas, Alex. You guys, I'm so happy um, because I went and got a spray tan. Oh my god, look at my neck. You're wondering, like, wait, Alex, like, why does your face look so pale? <laughs> what happened was when I showed up for my spray tan in New York, they were like, oh my god, like, okay, like, get ready, and I'm completely naked, and they're like, oh, you have to keep your mask on, like, we're not spraying faces. What? <gasps> what the fuck? So now I just look like a little ghost with like a really <laughs> nice orange neck. Kind of wearing an orange turtleneck to you guys. <laughs> Fuck! Seatbelt, safety first. Let me talk for a second. I got to LA, go to get lunch. Before I even get the water from the waiter, a girl comes up to me and is like, oh my God, I just have to introduce myself. Like, I, I just need to say this. I'm Suit Man's ex-girlfriend. I'm sorry. Oh. What? And then she pulls up photos and is showing me all the photos of them. And I was like, what the fuck is going on? Um, and she said after she saw his apartment, she broke up with him. It's kind of like the movie Psycho when like his, he like decorates like his mom and then like he kills his mom. What? Anyway, so that was fun. That was like my first experience in LA. I'm so excited for this interview because the, per the first guest I'm doing is like, I feel like a really normal human and she's like not scary. Like she's like nice. So it's nice to ease in. Her name is Madeline Byrne and she's daddy gang. She like loves the podcast. And I was like, okay, bitch, come hang out with me. I'm, I'm alone. I'm scared. I have no friends anymore. I went on a date with a guy last hey, night. <laughs> I'm like in love. That is just something that I'm gonna have to slowly ease into because he asked me not to put him on the podcast and while we were sitting at dinner I was like, oh my god, that's the craziest thing. I already talked about you in my intro of this week's episode that's going out. So we're gonna like roll with that. He asked me to hang out again on Wednesday. Who is he? Is this a work trip or is this like kind of like a couple's getaway? I don't know. <laughs> we're on our way. I will see you guys at the studio. What? Are you sure you had the right address? Wait, I think we passed it. <laughs> We're lost. Is this it? No, that's a fucking furniture store. Do you think it could be that green thing? Let me see. Look, right? Yeah, that's it. Wait, I feel like that looks so, like this looks like a house. Hello? Hello, it's me. Look at me finding it. with these things so i'm like really having like a wait fun am wait I... isn't this such a cute room am I you're on my vlog long? this is not a Hi, vlog. you look really skinny and it's amazing. the cell tanner oh wait God, and I'm like blessed. that top and the color on you so good bitch Bless. you're thriving Bless. today Bless. Bless up are we rolling okay what the fuck is up, daddy gang? It is your father back at it again for another episode of Call Her Daddy. I have my friend, Madeline Byrne, on the motherfucking show this week. And he was like, no, 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 like, let me pick you up. It's all good. I'm not weird. Like, first red flag, but whatever. <laughs> if he says he's not weird, he's fucking, fucking weird. weird. <laughs> and I'm like, not hot. I'm like polo popping, ever ugly, sandal, fucking Jesus sandals. Also, my roommate wants me to say, hey, Brittany. Oh, hey, that Brittany. makes it in the vlog. Hi, Brittany. I love you. Thank you so much. I think that that was so good, Daddy Gang. Debrief of my first interview. I think that the content we did was, like, very relatable for people that aren't psychotic like me. That's the vibe of this new era is having people on that I think the Daddy Gang will love and vibe with. And I think that she's, like, a dope chick. And I liked her. And she's, like, normal and real. Yeah, so I have to go edit the podcast. 
and then maybe I'll go meet up with my boyfriend. What? Hopefully he watches this. Hi, babe. Okay, I'm so done. Round two, I'm going to do my second interview of the trip. I am excited, her name is Maggie Lindman. She is a singer and I have followed her for so long because her music is so depressing. And you know how like you like to listen to depressing music when you're even, like you're sad, you wanna be like more sad? I can't tell if I'm sad or poor. The most depressed most person nights, I am not in so America. Bad but she's amazing. Um, she's super open about her sexuality and she's just like a very liberating soul. So I'm so excited to have her on. And we're just gonna get a little wild today. Um, get a little deep, maybe. Um, maybe not even talk as much about sex, which maybe some of you are happy about. And then the men are like, so then I'm not gonna listen. Don't care. I'm just gonna sit here and meditate and like prepare, okay? Some days I'm really wild before, like we're pumping up for a game. Let's get hammered! And we start like a party. Other days before I record, silence. And then that lasts for like two seconds and then I have to keep talking. A lot of lesbians will not like date or talk to bi girls because you also like guys. The lesbians I know are great. They don't think like that, but I have ran into like People that are like that and they're, yeah, they're like, oh, you're bi? And I'm like, yeah. And they're like, oh, like, ugh. We did it! I think it was really fucking interesting. I think that like my listeners are gonna like her story. I mean, I fucking thought her story was insane. I think it's gonna be amazing, Daddy Gang. You, you're gonna like this one. Oh my God, watch this bit. I'm in a good mood, can you tell? Um, I am kind of the biggest weirdo. My backpack is really tangled, just give me a second. Anyways, I kind of feel like the biggest creep in LA right now. And let me tell you why. Because I think I have DM'd every single girl in LA being like, hey, do you want to come on my show? There are a couple girls that you all are like, Alex, have on your show. And don't worry, I, I see all your messages. And I've messaged them. At yeah. Okay. I just want you guys to like get an understanding of like the type of girl I am. When I order food, I have literally cannot make up my mind. So like, here we go. Breakfast sandwich croissant thing, okay? It looks pretty bomb. Then I have fruit. Then I have avocado. Then we have this chicken panini, which really looks fucking bomb. Then we have potatoes. Then we have iced coffee and we have iced tea. <laughs> Daddies. Whoa. Okay, hi. It's currently day three, so I have to get ready soon, but let's just say I did not sleep at my hotel room last night. Am I glowing? <laughs> no, Alex, you look so bad. I literally just took all my makeup off. I drank so much fucking tequila last night. It was out of control, like literally. I got to LA and I went on a date with a guy. It was a business meeting, turn date. I had the best time. I literally had so much fun with him. And then, and I'm telling like detail by detail on episode 91. So the first date is gonna be like completely unveiled and unraveled in episode 91. But now there's more to the fucking story because I <laughs> But now I have to get ready for my interview with Olivia O'Brien and she's so beautiful and I feel so hungover and I look so ugly. I have a pimple and let me just tell you, this pimple is just, I, I have not broken out in so long and I had this one pimple. Do you guys know how fucking hard it is to cover a pimple? We're in pain! Oh man, I look so pale right now. Give me a second, a bitch is baking. Wait, I literally look like Voldemort. <laughs> you guys, I did it. <laughs> Whoa, she looks so different. Covered up the nooks and crannies on my head. I'm wearing a hat because today, my hair day is literally like, I look so disgusting that this hair, I'm pretty sure there's tequila in it and I keep finding different pieces of fuzz, which I don't know what that is about. What I'm saying is I'm doing a check-in with you guys. I am gonna have a nervous breakdown because I was just informed that there's someone possibly going to be coming on the show that I can't even really explain like what it will do to me and my childhood and my dreams and my life. And like this person could literally come on the show and just like not even speak. And I would be like, I am 
I, I can die happy now. The show can literally end once this person comes on the show. So hopefully that's happening and then hopefully I can tell you guys who the fuck it is because I hate when people are like, guys, special project coming soon and it's like, bitch, fucking tell us. I wish I could. I'm talking a million miles an hour. I'm going to meet Olivia O'Brien now. What did I do? And he was like, you were on top and you looked at me straight dead in the eyes and you said, I fucking hate you. You're disgusting and slapped me in the face. <laughs> I need to vomit. No, I'm not, but like, wow. Guys, in life, sometimes you make decisions that you're happy about and you make decisions that you fucking regret. Do I regret meeting up with that man last night? No. Do I regret drinking so much tequila to the point of excess, of waking up not even really remembering where I was? Yes. What hurts the most? I think I did amazing, you know, really showed my strengths of letting the other person talk because I know sometimes you guys are like, so can you shut the fuck up and maybe like, I don't know, let the other guest, isn't the point of having a guest on letting them speak, Alex? I'm working on it, self, self work. I'm gonna release this um, Olivia's episode next after, so that would be episode 91. Um, I just feel like we had like a lot in common. I feel like our vibes were very similar. We both think men are trash and fuck men. No, I'm just kidding, kind of, not really. And she has like a really, really, really good cheating story that she's like literally spilled tea, like said her friend's name, gave no fucks, like is calling out the guy that cheated on her best friend. And I have so much respect for her and why not do it on a better platform than call her daddy? Like I. Literally Literally can't think of a better one. The whole situation was amazing. Um, I'm gonna go home now and try to record this intro because everyone is like, can you please fucking give us an update on, I'm calling him Zoom Man. My boyfriend in LA is Zoom Man because we met on Zoom, <laughs> so cute. Um, so I'm gonna try to do an update about us and our life together and just like the children we're having and like the plans we're making. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna throw up. Um, and then I'm gonna get into my bed and I'm going to cry. Another morning, another extreme hangover. I got back from Mr. Sexy Zoom Man's house this morning. Such a good morning. He like got me breakfast in bed. It was super cute, great. Then I was like, I need to get the fuck out of here because I need to poop. <laughs> but I'm going to meet up with a man that has so many, just is really near and dear to my heart. And he has been on a vlog before. And I'm excited for the daddy gang to see him again. So there's a couple things happening right now. Number one, I'm driving this car and why the fuck is this rental car so nice? We got a Mercedes. I'm like, number two, it's the most annoying thing every fucking time that I have to leave this hotel. You have to call someone from the hotel and then they have to come down and let me out. Look at, I, I, like, I'm just hanging out here. So I'm just sitting waiting for a fucking person I guess to let me leave like hello I would love to leave hi um I'm in 919 and I'm sitting in my car trying to get out of the parking garage um but no one is here to let me out and I was just wondering okay. like if I could get out yeah I'll have someone go up there right now okay Sorry, okay cool thank you so much you're welcome bye <laughs> They're like, yeah, sure, you can leave soon. I'm, I, now I'm getting hot. Where the fuck is the heat? Oh, uh, the heat, the heat, yeah. <gasps> Wait, oh my God. <laughs> you wanna? You wanna? Oh my God, I think they're coming. Yes, for the love of fucking God. Sorry, but like, what the fuck? Okay, thank you so much. Just gonna fucking lose my shit. Man, I mean, not. Okay, I cannot vlog and drive. I'll see you guys when I get there. I'm trying to get into this parking spot right now, and you, woo! you guys, I'm here. Look who it is. Back what? out of the day. <laughs> Literally, I forgot how tall you are. Guys, look how fucking handsome he is. You guys, did you miss the vlog a little? Back out of the game. Please. <laughs> Look what he's eating. Look what I'm eating. First earthquake in a man's bed. I mean, meant to be? Yeah. Donnie, 10 out of 10 experience, tell me. 11. 